What's the worst weapon in Breath of the Wild? The obvious answer is a stick. Two damage and four durability is the first weapon you get for a reason, but it's not the worst. Put on strength armor and that thing is doing a massive three damage. Six when it breaks. And durability transfer exploits exist to allow you to keep your thick three damage stick going for a while longer if you had to, which compared to the real worst weapon is massive. The lowest damage weapon is a leaf doing a miserable one damage, but it's cool and very useful. It's not the worst because it has its place in the game as does the stick and they're everywhere. You don't play the game without ever using these before graduating to the next thing. The worst weapon in the game would have to have pathetic damage, be really inconvenient to get and useless when you do. The worst weapon in Breath of the Wild is without a doubt the squeaky hammer. If you even know what it is, you probably bought it once, used it once, then got rid of it because it has zero practical use, despite having the greatest durability of any weapon in the base game of 80. With that being said, its greatest use is probably exploiting durability swaps to power up other weapons. Even its gimmick, knockback on the fourth hit, leaves a lot to be desired. It doesn't even work on bosses. This thing sucks, and it gets worse. Kilton, who you unlock by finding him in a distant corner of the map, sells squeaky hammers, and that's the only way to get them. He operates on his own monster currency, so to purchase the 199 Kilton coin hammer, you'll need to sell him 10 Lionel horns, 33 Moblin fangs, or 25 Lizalfos talons. And for all that, you get one hammer. And then it goes out of stock. Do you know how to get Kilton to restock? Neither did I, and neither does the wiki. This is wrong. But why would I ever want more than one trash gimmick hammer? Back in 2018, when I played Breath of the Wild, I identified the crappy, obscure, unloved squeaky hammer and decided that I wanted to beat every world boss and Ganon with it and only it. So I somehow filled my entire maxed 19 inventory slots with hammers and went to fight Ganon with them. Only to realize that 19 hammers that each have 80 durability will only have a maximum of 1,520 damage output before I ran out. Ganon, even after the Divine Beast pummeling, has 4,000 health making my goal impossible, and so the worst Zelda inventory of all time was abandoned, and sat unmoving on my Switch for almost five years. Until now. Now I'm better at this stuff, and can finally make 2018 David's terrible goals a reality, and along the way, learn a number of Zelda quirks that most people have never seen. Lionel, Talos, Big Fat Goblin, the skeleton version of it, Big Sandfish, and Ganon himself would all fall to the might of the squeaky hammer, and only the squeaky hammer. Here's how I did it, starting with the Lionel. This is my inventory. I have no recollection of how to fucking... How do you do that thing? I remembered how to do the thing, as in somebody told me. Thank you for telling me. I haven't played this game in a long time, and I'm going to be so bad at it. Ah, he's actually red! Okay, <laughs> you do not have enough hammers? Okay, but I have the damage armor, Legato. You don't understand. <laughs> we'll even eat this. A mighty simmered fruit. Okay, that's not the right button. This is awful. Son of a bitch. You guys are uh, fucking out of here. I'm going to spare you a lot of confusion that I went through. Food and armor damage multipliers cap out at 1.5 times damage. The game doesn't count decimals, so it just rounds back down to one. There is no way to get my squeaky hammer hits to do more than one damage. This red Lionel has 2000 health, so I'd have to hit him that many times, which is more than the total damage output of my entire inventory. But I'd cross that bridge when I got to it. First, I had to relearn the game. My first attempt, went poorly. Can you heavy attack? I'm so disappointed that this hammer doesn't squeak. <laughs> look at all that DPS. Yeah, look at his health. Oh yeah, and when we're when a hammer is about to die, we can throw it at him for extra damage. I'm actually going to take the L. I learned how to play the game. Now let's go again. Holy shit, it's happening. <laughs> I almost got the button wrong. <laughs> Flurry Rush is triggered by timing it closely. Let's go. 
Chat, this fight's actually gonna take in-game days. Actually, at the rate I was going, the fight would take a couple in-game weeks. But that was fine. There's nothing in the game that would stop us from just fighting forever. Uh-oh. Blood moons. Every time a blood moon rises, everything comes back to life. You may want to avoid entering enemy camps or engaging mini bosses and bosses until after the blood moon passes. Enemies, including bosses, will regain all of their health after a blood moon. Oh, good. We're on a timer. How long is that timer? Well, according to the wiki, it's a few days in game. Oh, we're completely screwed. There's no way I can hit a Lionel 2,000 times within a couple of in-game days. But I didn't know that. I thought everything was okay. Okay, so my damage thing ran out. Okay, wait, 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 wait. That doesn't do any extra given your armor buff? Okay, cool. So we just got to commit to this and hope I don't run out of hammers. That's, that's where we're at then. Nice. Okay, we're getting better at sucking less. But my fingers still want to press the triggers to attack. Well, the sun rises on the second day of the Lionel versus Springloaded Hammer fight. <laughs> I think it's genuinely not doing anything. <laughs> what? Okay. How do you get on his back? You need to headshot him? That's not really in the cards. What if, when he does that, can I get on his back? Because somebody said that it doesn't do any durability. And so if that's the case, we can technically beat everybody with squeaky hammers. Come here! Nope. Oh shit, yeah, this will tell us if we're doing damage as well. <laughs> Although we are now with this missing a set bonus. Okay, 1605. I hit him five times. Oh, shit. I'm only doing one damage. <laughs> the game doesn't count for decimals. Because my buff is only 1.5. <laughs> no. I didn't think it was a multiplier. I thought it was like a set addition. All right, we got to focus on getting on his back then. Holy shit. <laughs> he does so much more damage like this though. <laughs> uh... And a little late. Uh... Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that and we'll get on him with the squeakies. We're coming up on day three. <laughs> I see why Mifa fell in love with watching him fight the Lionel. He took so many days and nights. <laughs> so like, you know, right about here. <laughs> Another option. Hey, there we go. Dude, fucking hit him. Oh, I didn't have a hammer. Hey, yo, man. You should come just a little bit closer. Ah. Oh. So that was the plan. My hammers could output just over 1,500 damage, and the other 500 hits I'd need to do on his back, since it would take no durability off them. And just don't think about the blood moon. It's not coming. That's some bullshit right there. We are now down nine hammers. I have 10 left. He's not quite at half health. We are gonna need to start mounting him a lot more. Shit! Okay. <laughs> that was almost catastrophic. Okay. Land on this man. What the fuck? Oh, it's because I can't land on him during stasis. Yeah, obviously. God damn it. I knew that already. Not quite. There we go. Mount. Oh, shit, shit. Mounting master. 
there's gonna be a blood mood the second you kill him, as long as it's the second after I kill him, and not the second prior. What? Oh no! We've done it, Chad. 50%. Oh, oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> we can change rocks. We've been at the same rock for a while. I choose this rock. <laughs> New rock percent? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. You're still loyal to the old rock? The problem with the old rock is he'd occasionally knock me off the fucking cliff. I was so fucking on that. I couldn't have been more on that Lionel. He's at like one third health. Low key, I'm starting to feel myself. <laughs> We're only at a quarter health. <laughs> I mean, yeah. <laughs> starting to feel this fight. <laughs> I'm starting to feel the gameplay. Hiya! Right in the ass. All right. Last four. Oh shit, I thought I had five. He has 600 and... Oh my god. I need to do 625 damage with 200 durability. And I, I don't do two damage when I'm mounted. Kai Sinat. He broke the Twitch sub world record by a lot, right? So he would have made Twitch like a million dollars in a month, straight up. Do you know what they sent him? Not like Remember a contract. No, no, no. They sent him a pair of shoes, like a purple pair of shoes. These are the shoes that they sent him for making like a million dollars in a month. King of Twitch. <laughs> you wouldn't wear those? I mean, I'd wear them if they represented me being literally the top streamer of Twitch. You know what Twitch should do? They should send shoes like that to just like partnered streamers. Because we make them thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars. They should send streamers that make them millions of dollars. Probably something a tiny bit better than that shit. Oh God. Okay, nice. No. Two hours, 1500 hits in, the blood moon had arrived and all my progress was about to be wiped away. Holy shit, I'm gonna lose my mind. They wouldn't. In the middle of a fight? He's at a quarter HP. You can't do this to me now. I'm in shambles. Please don't do this to me. <laughs> no! <laughs> oh my god, yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! I love you, video game! Oh my god! <laughs> the wiki was wrong. I wonder what else it doesn't know. Yeah, they really did say April Fools. Damn right we're under 500 health. We just have to get like 70% of our damage from mounts. So this is like the eighth day? Chat, what would you say this is? Day eight? This is the third rainfall, which is just the best mechanic in the entire video game. <laughs> Lionel hasn't slept. Please, man. You haven't given me a moment to rest. People come in my stream and they say like, man, Spiff, you're the only streamer that can keep my attention. How the fuck am I keeping your attention? We have been going in circles. <laughs> Getting on and off of this rock for two hours. Over two hours. Hey, man. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Huh? Okay. Oh, thank 
<laughs> Something about this guy's behavior has changed between hour two and <laughs> hour three. So now between these hammers, I have 160 damage of durability, which means I now only have to do 72 damage from mounting. Final 100 health chats. It's finally happening. Last. <laughs> oh, last hammer. Last 10 hell. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Let's go. <laughs> After what, like a dozen in game days? Well, time to go mount somebody else. One down, five to go. Next up was the Talos. I chose the stone Talos in the Great Plateau because it's the weakest. I earned this. But first, I would need more hammers. I was fresh out. Time to figure out how to make Kilton restock and see if I could even afford many more hammers. Joy-Con drift, anyone? So this is the darkness currency. Oh, I only have 63 mon. Yeah, we're gonna need a little bit more than that. Look, he sells a mop that would do considerably more damage. I'm not gonna reload my save um, before I killed the Lionel. That's cheap. Ooh, that's not a lot. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, we need 200 mon per hammer. We need 19 hammers. That's 1,500 mon. No, it's not. No, that's 2,800? 3,800? Shit. Wait, 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 whoa, whoa, I got a billion shafts. What was I doing that got me so many of these things? I don't think he's out of stock. I think it just says that because I can't afford it. How, How long exactly? Okay, but it was sold out and then I fought the Lionel for two weeks. A blood moon happened. Is it... 24 real life hours? This is a Kilton shop outside most towns, including Kakariko. I know I would have gotten that original inventory of hammers without changing the switch clock. So maybe I did just spend like <laughs> the better part of a month. <laughs> Nationwide shortage on squeaky hammers. Fast travel as far away as possible, sleep 24 hours, then come back according to Reddit. This is like the blacklisted run? It kind of is, yeah. Nobody knows because nobody's done something as dumb. So now, surely our good friend the hammer salesman should be ready to roll. Surely. We have to do this for each hammer? Yeah, I guess 17 year old David was on something else. Okay. 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 <laughs> Gonna use so much money on inns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to restock Kilton, you very specifically have to spend time outside of the radius of one of his spawns, which is outside of every village, including the one where my house is, so I couldn't use that to sleep for free. Resting works too, but it rains a lot. Rinse and repeat for every single hammer. Chad, do you ever sleep for like 47 hours? <laughs> this should have been over 24 hours, right? I understand that people don't like the Mario 64 DS movement, but I think the DS version of Mario 64 is objectively better than original Mario 64. It's the one where you start as Yoshi. Yeah, but then you unlock Wario, Luigi, and Mario. You get the full game. It's just got more content. Like it has more levels than Mario 64. Just, apparently the movement's a lot worse, and that's why it's not really a popular speedrun. Yeah, I don't know if I have any cash on me, but our money is plastic, yeah. If you put it in the washing machine, it all melts together. It doesn't smell like maple syrup. No, that's a lie. I might have some toonies, yeah. Here's two dollars. Our money melts together because it's plastic. Aren't there loonies? Yeah. This guy's a loony. You see, it's got a, it's got a bird on it, a loon. The melting plastic seems like a glaring oversight. No, it it's not something that happens often. I just heard about it when the money first became plastic because I guess a bunch of people didn't care about running their wallets through the wash. I actually had Tim's this morning. I had a bacon breakfast wrap, a mini egg donut, and coffee. I still have my coffee. Oh, wait. This is a roll up the rim to win cup. <laughs> So every year for like a month or so, Tim Hortons gives you these cups 
Where are you supposed to roll? I think here. It's like plastic, it's, or it's like cardboard, right? So you roll it up and then it tells you if you win or not. Wait, you have to download an app? You have to do it on their Timmy's app? Bro, come on. It's part of the rewards program now, so you only get it if you scan your rewards card, but it says roll up to win with an arrow. Are you telling me I can't use this cup anymore? Rip that, I'm deleting the app. Ain't no way I'm gonna scan some shit every time I buy something. Lame. All right, the hammer population's getting up there. I think one more and let's go find ourselves a, a rock guy. <gasps> Spotted, sir. Oh, it is. Oh my god, I can see his health drop. Wow. <laughs> Truly a beautiful day. We're doing this without healing. This is almost... I don't know. After the two-hour Lionel, this almost seems cheap. Because this guy's actually... It even makes squeaky sounds. Crap, I didn't recognize... Okay, maybe it won't be that easy. It's hard to tell which is the front and which is the back of this guy. Where'd his arm go? <laughs> oh. Kind of looks like he's got a little rock diaper on. What a cutie. How much is this gonna do? <laughs> I think it did one damage. <laughs> Four hammers? Which is insane. The e Okay, hold on. <laughs> The economy on these hammers. Yeah, okay, I can get two volleys off. And then I gotta jump off. And then I can jump back off. This is a... What? <laughs> huh? Man, this seems like a pretty solid method. <laughs> he bent over for you there, my word. Yeah. Uh, he's Team Squeaky Hammer. How much health does a Molduga, Molduga have? Because I... That's one that I am genuinely quite concerned about. Molduga. Oh, shit, yeah. 1,500? Oh my god, we can kill them. We do 1,500 damage. Do you need bombs to kill Molduga? It's the only way? Is it for sure the only way? The only I have tried? So we knew how to slowly restock on hammers. Next was Malduga, who some people in chat were convinced I had to damage with bombs and wouldn't be able to do all of his health with only hammers. I wanted to see for myself. You don't have to detonate the bomb, but you do have to throw it. All right, buddy. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> See, what if I hit him right then? Hold it! No! No, too early! Eh. This is gonna be complicated. <laughs> no! No! No, my hammer! Imagine the person who's been telling me this for like 20 minutes is right. That would be absurd. What if? Oh, shit! You're wrong! <laughs> You're fucking wrong! <laughs> we could do this! Wait, wait, how do I get rid of a bomb now? Because... Don't let him pick them up? All right, well, let's, let's go, let's go cook a little bit here. One durian does full health. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty busted. Up to three pages of cooked food. That would take a lot, that would take a while. <laughs> but we're gonna need it. So when the big fish went for the bomb, I could get at least one hit in with the hammer. Problem was it ate the bomb. 
and I only had two of those. I couldn't blow it up because then I'd have to restart. We needed a way to attract the fish a thousand times or so without damaging it. Gravity Zero, I have to do it myself. You can tell me as many times as you want that it's not gonna work. I don't care. Go get it. <laughs> Does he not want my salt? What about a fish? He doesn't want my fish? So it only eats bombs. <laughs> Maybe he likes steak. Raw prime meat, how could he say no? Yeah, he seems... Oh? Does he respond to bomb arrows? Yeah, okay, no, there we go. He's targetable. Just got a weird hitbox. Perfect. That's it, chat. We can kill Malduga with just the hammer. It's just gonna be the worst thing I've ever done. The bomb arrows showed that Malduga responded to explosions, which meant if I just detonated my bomb right after it aggroed and before it ate it, Sandfish would jump up and allow me to stasis it without any extra damage. That is if I timed it right. If I didn't, no matter how far I was through the fight, I would have to restart. At about three hits every 20 seconds or so, this was going to be a very long fight. I need all 19 inventory slots to kill this Molduga. It will probably be like a two and a half hour fight that we can fail at any given moment if I detonate the bomb at the wrong time. If you hit it while it's in stasis still, you won't deal damage. Okay, wait, 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 wait. When I put it in stasis, do all of my hits count? Hey, yeah, uh, you. Come here. Oh my gosh, you're fast. Oh. Oh, oh. It went to 119. And then it went to 116. I almost lost my mind. It does count. Yes, it did four damage because it broke and the breaking hit does double. Based on our single experiment, the Malduga surely works the exact same way. No way that they would operate differently. <laughs> Malduga's already dead, yeah. This is gonna be so easy. I continued the slow cycle of buying hammers until I accidentally broke my capture card and had to end for the day. I offline mined the rest of the hammers and came back the next stream ready to take however many hours it would take to kill Malduga. If it was doable at all. 19 squeaky hammers, chat. So I gotta blow it up now. Then he goes. I switch to stasis. Berries, so you don't lose I go down. I stasis him, but I did it at the wrong time. That is our only window to hit Malduga. We get ready on the stasis. Now, I don't even have a hammer out, but boom, baby. That's three hits. Yeah, just have a billion keep subs. It's worth noting that with the Lionel, we spent more than seven days fighting it, and it did not despawn or get its health back when the Blood Moon came. So we're hoping the same thing happens with Malduga. Although, um, currently I am concerned because Malduga just totally fucked up. <laughs> Maybe reload my save. Yeah, I know, but we can't have this happen when Malduga's at 2 HP. It's gonna be so depressing if we start counting damage. You ready to count very slowly to 1500? How do we not? That's bad if we're taking damage fucking every single time we hit. This is like watching someone die oh! with a tiny paint rush. Chat, we've like gotten its health down. The tail also works. You don't take damage from the tail. 
His toes. Just using the hammers. No, I. Oh shit! It does five. I thought it did four. That's too bad. Why? No, go back. Why is this a thing? <laughs> yeah, that's the danger. There is a certain risk to not waiting for him to leave before throwing out the bomb. We do have an automatic tracking system of how much damage we do. <laughs> that being the hammer durability. <laughs> Where is Zelda? Oh, you know, waiting patiently for me to kill a Maldugo with a squeaky hammer. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, I should be wearing the damage armor because it will take effect on that last hit. On the hit where the hammer breaks, I do two damage. So with this armor, I'm gonna do three. Oh, yeah. We just did three damage in a single hit. Holy crap. We've seen this before. It goes back to normal in a little while. Is this gonna cancel the attack? We gotta get our free three damage. Yeah! <laughs> Let's go. How was everybody's weekend? I took my brother out for supper for his birthday. I also went to the, the smashing room with Paige on Friday, but I think I told you guys about that. You go in, they give you like a couple old electronics and a bunch of like plates and shit, and you get to break them. It's called smash therapy. It was interesting. When I booked it, they had me, like, tell them why I was booking it. You know, the options were, like, grief, anger, sadness, fun, some information chat that I have acquired on Mulduga. It doesn't aggro to a bomb on, like, its raised sand. It'll only aggro to a bomb once the bomb hits the real sand. So I could put the bomb on its mound, and it won't, like, insta-aggro. That's just a little risky. Why are you doing this? Zelda actually came to me in a dream and said, the only way to save me is to... kill Mulduga with a squeaky hammer. Maybe Zelda is in the Mulduga? And I gotta break it open without damaging her on the inside. That's why we're using the gentlest of means. 500? Holy shit. It's only been an hour 20. God, we'll be done in no time. We were a third through. But more importantly, Rose Health was approaching the G in its name. Meaning soon we wouldn't be fighting Malduga anymore. We'd be fighting... Maldug. Okay, I gotta stop being confident. I almost fucked it up there. Muldug? Oh, it is Muldug, yeah. It lost the A, it's just Muldug now. <laughs> Do you think it'll ever learn to not jump out at the bombs? Muldug's never gonna learn that. Maybe Muldu, or maybe Mold. <laughs> Chat, Muldug is dead. It's now Muldu. Chat, do you think there's gonna be like, like, many twists in the Mario movie? Because, I mean, if it sets out to mimic the game series, you know, what are people gonna spoil? <laughs> Bowser will turn out to be evil all along. I'm not gonna see it right when it comes out, and I obviously want to avoid spoilers, but what the fuck are people gonna tell me? <laughs> Toad dies. Imagine they kill out a canon character who then cannot show up in any Mario game ever again. <laughs> Luigi dies in real life. Oh my god. They're gonna kill off Waluigi so that they never have to add him to Smash. It's official now, assholes. Never gonna get Waluigi in a game ever again. Hey, mold! 
It's mold. Uh oh, here it comes. Okay, chat. Time to find out if two hours of work has been for nothing. Mold, please. I don't want to lose you, mold. Come on! <laughs> Yes! <laughs> the wiki be damned! <laughs> Fuck the wiki, Chad. Let's go. <laughs> Mole is still with us. With the blood moon out of the way, things looked smooth. As long as I didn't mess anything up, it would just be a couple more hours of grinding. Time for a mold Taj. Hey chat, we need a new answer why, as opposed to the Zelda stuck in the Mulduga's stomach. I kind of like the Zelda came to me in a dream. There should be a weapon that has point that does 0.5 damage, but has 30,000 durability. No. No, because then I would be using it. I'll pass. Oh, that's not gonna do more damage. We're at Mo chat. Mole is no more. It's just Mo. Dude, I'm in I'm in the flow state, big time. I am just chilling. Throwing my bomb, blowing it up, jumping down. Stasis. Hit Malduga. Back on the rock. <laughs> Do a pixel of damage. Rinse. Repeat. How clean is David's house? <laughs> Cleanest fucking house I've ever been in, y'all. There is no mess ever at any point. It is pristine. It is fine. It's awful. <laughs> How often do you clean your toilets? <laughs> Probably not often enough. I clean my toilet every week because I'm a really good clean person. She's not on that grind like I am. I am on a <laughs> grind! I work so hard all the time! Yeah, but have you spent two hours killing Balduga with a squeaky hammer? No! <laughs> the only real work is Balduga work Pepsi, no! <laughs> You're letting David win. Yeah, M is putting up a pretty intense fight. It's the biggest of the letters. The hardest of the checkpoints. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave now. What's the worst untrue Canadian stereotype? Probably that, like, we live among mooses. Like, there's so few mooses. Meese. I'd love to see more mooses, but you just never see them. Even where they have the densest popularity. I know, it is sad. We, <laughs> I've seen, like... Two mooses in my life. See, but here's the thing, Noah. I actually have slept in igloos, and I have put maple syrup on unconventional things, but I've never ridden a moose. <laughs> so it just, it doesn't quite fit as much as the other ones. Life's not all about efficiency. Sometimes you can take your time on a task. Makes it more memorable in the end. Do I remember all the Maldugas I've killed? No. Am I gonna remember Maldug? Maldu? Mold? Mole? Mo? Muh? Redacted? Yes, all of them. I want Nintendo to organize a huge international Smash tournament with a massive cash prize and make it like items on. <laughs> Only random stage with hazards on too. Oh my God, yeah. Holy shit, chat. We have one hammer left. Or two, sorry. I am also very afraid of running out. But like, as long as the math doesn't lie, as long as the wiki isn't wrong about Maldugas health or something. This is the end of the second last hammer. Time for this. Well, oh, this is probably the last crit actually.
huge crit. One hammer left. Three hours in. Hopefully my math wasn't wrong. That would suck. The counters have gone over 1500. So either Mulduga has more health than we anticipated or they're counting wrong. I hope they're just counting wrong. <laughs> it didn't go down to nothing man it still had a couple pixels left oh my gosh oh let's go i need a sec chat i've been doing the same inputs without messing up the timing once for three hours i need a sec it's been an honor watching you smack it to fish thank you Hey chat, this thing would kill a Malduga <laughs> in 15 hits. Oh my god, chat. Look at it. Look at it. There you go. Crazy. Unreal. Anyway, back to hammers. Next boss, big goblin. But first, hammer grind. And showing off how I learned to glide to Kilton without looking during my offline mining. Exciting stuff. Hope I don't run out of monster parts. How did I not know you streamed? That is a really good question. Because I've like never made a video that doesn't show the stream. I thought he manually wrote all the messages himself. Oh, uh, yeah. I do that when nobody shows up to the stream. Time to hit this guy 800 times. Time to hit this guy 600 times. Holy crap, he just fell. <laughs> Chad, should we say no eating? I think we do. He's not taking enough damage. Get some foot shots. Okay, I gotta like start <laughs> not taking damage if I'm gonna do this no hit. Or no death, no food, no eating, no consumption. <laughs> he's like doing a little dance routine. Why the nuts? Cause he's like not even attacking me when I attack him from here. No, 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 don't turn around. No, 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 no. The dance of his people. Yeah. We got it down to a, a high or a hin, and I'm still above half health, so we should be... Ow. We should be good. Should we spice it up for non-believers a bit by uh, changing a piece of armor? <laughs> nice. Wait! Put your hand down! How do I... Okay. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> Oh yeah, we're down to redacted already. Hell yeah. What? <laughs> he grabbed a tree! Shit! Oh, he's just like, oh, what a nice toss. We've had some pretty crazy crotch cam. But it's where you gotta go for this guy to get to the good spot. I should use the bikini top with the shorts. Do I have a bikini top? Like this? <laughs> The ultimate look. Yeah. Oh, missed. Ah, we got plenty of hammers. We're chilling. Can I take off my pants? Not like they do it much anyway. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's like actually not any more revealing. Okay, at what point do I start only throwing the hammer at him? And that's the only way I do damage. Because I know the, the fish's health bar didn't actually go to zero. They die slightly before zero. I think one more combo. Yeah. Let's only... <laughs> Let's actually throw. 
fuck. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> it broke in one throw? Holy. Those weapons always break when hitting enemy? I see. <laughs> you watched me kill a troll half naked in the crowd. With the smashing success of butt crack strats, that left two bosses, excluding the crappy clone things, they're trash and I don't care about them. Ganon, who would be left for last and require durability exploits to beat with just hammers, and the skeleton goblin, Stalnox. Immediate problem with the Stalnox. They only take damage in their eye, and I couldn't exactly reach. Okay, well, where is a, a whatever Nox? We can at least give it a shot. <laughs> Am I heading in the right direction? Does anybody know? Ah, okay, this is it. Can I knock the eyeball loose? <laughs> Without a bow. Get out of here with your bow propaganda. He does a bit more damage. <laughs> All right, Chad, it's time to get clothed. No more nudity. This is just a test. Let's, what happens if you take out his health without the eye? Like, will the eye drop? He's got the same moveset, chat. He's doing the little, di the little dances. Oh yeah. It's go. That's it. Yeah, this is super hammerable. Get out of here! Whoever said I needed to use a bow? Okay, well, that was fairly easy. Oh, well, let's go uh, grind out hammers then, I guess. I was totally wrong about how that dude works. Yeah, that's been a common theme. Samox has a thousand health. How many hammers is that? Uh, like twelve or something. I hope the Switch version will have exclusive content explaining why there's a random room on fire. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, I'm sure they will. Also, that random room on fire is the only plot hole in Security Breach. Once we know why that room's on fire, everything will be solved. So are they gonna fix the technical issues the game has, or is it just gonna be a port with all the remaining issues? Oh, they're gonna fix it. No doubt. You know, there's a lot of people who do crazy things with games, and a lot of it goes unrecorded, but I wouldn't be surprised if I am one of the largest squeaky hammer, squeaky hammer purchasers in all of this game's history. Yeah, I like making long videos. I don't think you can tell as much of a story with, like, 10-minute videos. You know, if I were to make my videos 10 minutes, I'd have to cut out all the stories. Should I make Mr. Beast-like 10-minute videos? What's up, motherfucker? They were motherfucking doing squeaky hammer time. It would be like 30 seconds of the <laughs> Mulduga fight. <laughs> Three hours cut down to 30 seconds of just straight Mulduging. And I'll put text on screen for everything I say. Once I had enough hammers, the Stalnox had more problems. I had killed the one in the castle to test things, not really thinking much of it because there's others I can fight around the world. Except I can't. The Hyrule Castle Stalnox is like me. He can't see the sun. This is handy because the others around the world hide from the sun during the day and you can't fight them. Considering it was going to be a week-long fight, I would need a Blood Moon to get the castle one back. I beat up some plebs to try to trigger it on stream, but then just decided to call it. And left my switch on overnight. Hey chat, is... 59 Ancient Arrows a lot. I think my sister's setting off a fire alarm. Did you set off the fire alarm? I guess so. <laughs> I didn't burn anything. I think you just don't fucking hear it. I just don't understand. Right. Sure, I haven't trained my fire alarm to not go off. Yeah. I see. It is kind of getting smoky in here. 
This is a page chat. This is my sister. Who does have a bit of a history with burning stuff. Oh, the fire alarm again, Megan. Not burning anything. <laughs> it's because I haven't trained my fire alarm. This is what set the alarm off. Does this look burnt to you? It's not burnt. I didn't burn anything. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, that's probably the least burnt brush will sprout. <laughs> Between streams, I did some learning about completely vanilla features. Nintendo, there is nothing going on here to be concerned about. They gone? Okay, I learned how to duplicate that shit mid-fight, so I'd never run out of hammers ever. I'd only need it for the Ganon fight, but oh boy, would I need it for the Ganon fight. If you're curious how, I explain later. I didn't mean to dive into the water. <laughs> hey, man. How's it going? Oh, you know. Pretty good. Fuck, how do you dodge this? Oh my god. I am getting grief. All right. Here we go. This guy's got the same moveset as the other one, hey? So we're gonna stick with like the ass strat. Ow. Okay, he hurts a little bit. I don't have an insane amount of food. We could always live off, you know apples and stuff but we'll see so chat uh oh showings yesterday i'm not supposed to have loaf right so i had to gah that's not good i gotta get smarter here Basically, I just had Paige babysit her for a couple hours. And so Paige took her to her parents' house. And they have a very happy and healthy new puppy who is thrilled to see Loaf. I need a better system for this. Loaf, on the other hand, was not happy to see the puppy. Damn it. That's okay. Okay, wait, if this guy is hardy. Hardy food is, that is so weirdly OP. How do you even get fish in this game? Why do I have so many fish? <laughs> what did past David do to the poor fish? I slaughtered the fish. That should be good. So right now he's like stuck in turn to link mode. And now he's in jumpies. Ideally, we just want jumps and stomps. Yeah, here's stomps. We gotta get into the nice ass rhythm. Can I stop him from doing this? Get him to focus on ass time? Yeah, okay, I can. Hey man, it's ass time. It's not turning time. It's ass time. Maybe if I hit him in the... Oh. Yeah, okay, and then it's tap dance. And then it's ass time. Good, good rhythm. Damn, I just can't keep this guy in ass time. I'm restarting. This guy's like weirdly hard. I love how we just, we, we like, we literally stare up his butthole during these. Like we can see his spine. <laughs> okay, let's try hitting his eye. I don't know how feasible it is. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, yeah, the reason I'm wearing the electricity hammer is to be one with the hammer. So chat, update. I think I've pretty much nailed how this guy works. So when he's turning like this, in order to activate ass time, I have to hit his ass. I know, crazy. <laughs> but yeah, so now I've activated ass time. And... As time seems like it varies between stompies and and the butt drop. I don't really know what the difference is. I got him! <laughs> I got his eye with the squeaky hammer. I don't really know what to do with this. Fantastic! What a success! It's Stal Chat. 
Okay, bro's got to get his arm back. He's not going into butt time while he's missing an arm. Thank you. Right? Does that get you an arm back? What is wrong with him? Chad? Okay, that's butt time. What's the most channel po What? Uh! Uh! <laughs> Come back! Oh my god, I launched his eyeball away. That's so funny. Maybe his second phase is just missing an arm. But time just got more complicated. Oh. Is this gonna happen every time in phase two? It is. Oh, it's so much harder to get hits. The squeaky hammer keeps knocking away his eyeball. That's so inconvenient. <laughs> Why does the squeaky hammer have to do this? Uh... <laughs> Ah! I can't. Weird. It shows up as green, but I can't. No way, does the- if I throw it and it hits the eye, does it do double damage on top of my double damage? You telling me I could hit a life-changing six damage crit? Holy crap. That's the most damage I've done in this game in like 20 hours. Come here! Boing! <laughs> We actually get to hear the boing of the squeaky hammer in a boss fight chat. We have achieved redacted chat. <laughs> oh yeah, now we can use the top words. It's the high room. <laughs> 30 minutes of ass slapping. Yep, gentle ass slapping. Until we turn his bones into soup. Okay, holy shit. If I hit the eye now, is that gonna count? So... Was that six damage? <laughs> I went and saw the Mario movie on Wednesday. I don't really want to say too much about it because I don't want to spoil for anybody who hasn't seen it, but I will say just a couple things. It was fun and it was fast. You can always pick apart. Like I could name something that I would have liked to have seen, but that's with every movie, 10 out of 10. Wait, yeah, maybe the champion's tunic will work on just the eyeball. That's. Trey smart. Oh! We can we can also use this to test if we can do six damage. How much health does it have? It has 163. Hmm. In fact, I only did two damage. <laughs> excuse, fuck, excuse me? What about my 1.5 times damage multiplier? We celebrated with Maldugo when I would do three damage crits, but maybe they weren't three damage crits after all. Because we couldn't have known. This is just our assumption. The eye needs to be in the body for the, for the legendary six damage. Okay, we'll try. Does it do one damage when it falls out or am I just... Imagining that. So it should be at 106. I think it does one damage to itself when it falls out. Pog. Helping me along. <laughs> That's handy. Thanks, Gabe. Am I ready for the FNAF movie? No, because I have plenty of time to be ready. Because it's going to be like six months. I saw a TikTok from I, I don't know who. And one of the actresses. But it was like, when you get a role for a Blumhouse movie and think Five Nights at Freddy's is just a fun little name somebody made up, and then the fans figure out about your casting before it's publicly available and bombard you with random lore information you've never heard of. That's the FNAF community, baby. <laughs> Well, did you get it back? Okay, good. <laughs> Poor woman. Yeah, she'll be fine. She's just got to learn about 10 years of really, really confusing lore. Eight. All right, hold on. Seven. All right, chat. <laughs> it's time. Right, that's six? Yeah. How many hammers do we got for this? It's not real, chat. 
<laughs> Myth busted. Let's see how much health it did do. Four. Or did it do three? Crotch shot! I think it did three plus one. Yeah. Good job, Jack. Yet another one has fallen to the squeaky <laughs> hammer, 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 hammer. Okay, so here's the deal. We will have to go against our honest ways for the Ganon fight. We will have to mid-fight duplicate hammers. Not durability, duplication. I gotta be honest about something. Back in 2018, when I first planned to do this, there was actually only one boss I really wanted to beat. Calamity Ganon. The reason I decided to add so many was because I wasn't sure I had it in me to commit to the hell that would be that fight. Honestly, if I'd started with Ganon, I probably would have given up, because I hadn't had the practice of everyone else first. Now, since I've killed the Divine Beasts, Ganon would start with half HP. Piece of cake. I only have to kill half of him. Well, Calamity Ganon has 8,000 health. That means I would have to hit him 4,000 times. But it gets better. Ganon spends over half the time on the wall hurling projectiles at you, and there's nothing you can do about that. Even better, at half his starting HP, so 2,000, he gains a permanent shield, and I will never be able to hit him with anything but flurry rushes for the rest of the fight. Holy shit. Do you know how many total hammers I need to kill him? 50. Most of which would have to be created via duplication mid-fight. This was going to be by far the single longest boss fight I'd ever endured in gaming. Hopefully ever. And if I died, if duplication stopped working during the fight for whatever reason, or if I accidentally damaged him with anything other than the hammer, restart. All over. Welcome to the real challenge. This is Calamit. Since he starts at half health, we're already on the team. First of all, oh shit, you know what? I'm not bringing, uh, is there, there's a cook pot somewhere in the castle. Oh, we are getting closer. Oh my God, I have just the thing for this. <laughs> no. This isn't cooking though, right? There's a pot in the corner? If I shoot, they're probably not gonna like. Hey man, can you, can you, can you light the, Thing. Oh, all right. <laughs> Looks like these guys are gonna watch me cook. Oh, they're not enemies. They're just, they're fans. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> It was painless, chat. Except for this guy. This guy won't be painless. Come back here. I need to cook. It was painless for three of them. In honor of them, chat, I'll wear this while killing Ganon. Cook their guts? I have a sneaking suspicion I'm gonna get, like, unhappy stew or whatever. Yeah. Instead, I got nude food. They even had to blur it out. <laughs> Holy shit, it's Ganon time. Good news though, this 8,000 health is about to change to 4,000. We only have to hit Ganon 4,000 times, chat. The castle just gets obliterated. How does this not kill Link as well? So we start at Calamit. Ganon's already dead. What the fuck? <laughs> Put that shit away, dude. Yeah. Okay, so time to learn how to flurry rush this guy because it's our only shot. I love gyro ice steering. I don't even need it. There we go. We 
We done it. That's an extra hammer, baby. Unfortunately, it is not a full durability hammer. It just occurred to me. I duped an unfull durability hammer. Yeah, there'll be a few learning experiences before we get really good at parrying everything. Come on down, big guy. Oh, he's a good boy. Is you. This is the equivalent of cutting the lawn with a pair of safety scissors. Why am I? F oh, my controller just disconnected. <laughs> Why does Ganon's health appear to be in the same spot that it was a few flurry rushes ago? Not just a few flurry rushes ago. It's been 20 minutes and his health appears to be exactly where it was when I started. If you pay close attention, you might notice that we only take a pixel of Ganon's health off every 10 or so hits. It takes multiple flurry rushes to do a pixel of his health. Oh my god, a pixel! Woo! <laughs> Let's go, a pixel! I would think about healing. I don't think anything he does does more than two hearts. Which is surprising, because my armor isn't even that good. And look, after this, I can hit him one more time. And, and still have time to back out and go back in. It's called Min Max. He spends way longer on the wall than he does on the ground. So now we can do this. Get our flurry rush in, get one hit after. Nope. But then we can go in stasis, get our hits in, and then he still won't do another, he might go up on the wall, but he won't do another attack. I think it's our highest DPS option. <laughs> Ganon trying to stop the dupe. This takes ages. We are almost at Kalam. That's pretty huge, Chet. <laughs> so I just measured the pixels of the health bar. We're actually only coming up on 10% damage done. I didn't want to hear that, actually. <laughs> Did you guys see something there? Did you guys see Ganon bounce? <laughs> Maybe I am insane. Shit. <laughs> Uh, I just duped a crappy hammer. Ah! <laughs> and then we... I got him! <laughs> we have to end for today. If this game somehow closes, then I'm gonna cry. Good news. My Switch did not implode after leaving Breath of the Wild on overnight. I wanted to finish the squeaky hammer challenge next stream, but I really did not have a good grasp of how long it would take. Especially with my DPS potential in phase two being somewhat of a mystery. My guess? Somewhere between four and 10 hours to go. I had plenty of food and was already terribly sick of the boss fight music. So I played my own. See, he did it, he bounced. He did that last stream. I should redo the FNAF marathon after Ruin comes out. I actually plan on redoing it before Ruin comes out because I want to like beat my last time with the same rules. And I might not be the only one doing it. At every opportunity, I've been trying to peer pressure other creators to beat my time as well. What does the bow and stick thing do? It duplicates a hammer. Basically, I overload my inventory by dropping bows and re-equipping them, specifically bows that shoot three to five shots, while holding a hammer, and then I switch to the stick once my inventory is overloaded and Link gets all messed up, and the game doesn't actually register that I stick switch to my stick, so when I throw my hammer, it doesn't leave my inventory because I'm holding my stick, but the game thinks I'm holding the hammer. So I have an extra hammer on the ground. Bam. I feel like this will be nice. <laughs> It was all a dream. You know, maybe Ganon and Link should just be friends. Why do they gotta fight like this, man?
<laughs> this is what we hear in the void? I wouldn't mind that. Am I worried about Nintendo taking down my shit? Nintendo shouldn't know I exist. I've never made a video on their shit before, but uh, yeah, things are concerning in the Nintendo department for sure. For those who are out of, who are not in the loop, Nintendo really hated Point Crow's multiplayer mod and copyright striked and blocked all his videos and some other people who did videos on it and then got petty and just started copyright claiming most Breath of the Wild modded content and some not even modded content. So Zelda on YouTube is in a really weird state where uh, people are worried about losing their channels for making Zelda videos. And it sucks too because it's like most of the time completely within their right. Like especially when it comes to Smash stuff, they don't sell Melee. So most Smash tournaments have to use emulated versions of Melee. So it's within their rights to block it, but you could just fucking support it a little bit. You know what, that's, that's a nice thing about FNAF. FNAF actually lives off YouTube. Like they're kind of boned without YouTubers, which is not common. Indie horrors live off YouTubers, which is uh, nice for me because uh, yeah, I'm not particularly nice to Steel Wool often. So if they were petty, like, <coughs> maybe I got run into issues. I know Ganon very well. There's no better way to get to know a boss than this bullshit. And soon-ish, we're actually gonna reach his halfway point. What are you talking about, Chet? This is perfect. <laughs> What? Huh? What? I had a flurry rush and it said, eh. Nah. Let's just listen to two hours of Gregorian chants. Holy shit! <laughs> I don't know what changes, but we fucking made it! Wait! What? I can't hit him outside of flurry rushes? Oh my god. <laughs> You're fucking with me. <laughs> that actually halves my damage. <laughs> Don't believe that smile. I had started dying inside. I really had developed a great system to maximize hits on Ganon weaving them in fairly cleanly between his attacks. See you next month. Fuck. He briefly flashed not shield there. Now I was on the fast track to losing motivation really hard. I probably could have dealt another 2000 damage to Ganon in just a couple hours if it weren't for his shield. And for some reason, it messed with his cycles, too. Ganon was about to spend a hell of a lot more time on the wall than he did on the floor. It didn't work again. This happened earlier. We, uh, we kind of need it to be working. We gotta start doing this because it's failed the last two times. I don't know why, and that's slightly concerning. Thank God. Okay, it didn't fail this time. Yeah, I don't, I'm not liking this attack, my guy. It's, uh... It's kind of bully Shit. Like, what? You never used to do this. You never used to laser beam if I was right beside your ass. Here's some harsh perspective. It had taken me three hours to do half his health, and I'd gotten comfortable with the idea of taking another two to three hours to finish. Then I ran into just the incredible slow pace of phase two. Ganon spent most of the time on the wall and if I missed a flurry rush when he did come down, sometimes that was all he offered before just going back up. My eyes were glazing over after spending most of my time awake that day doing this fight. All I could really do was put my head down and try to adjust to the slow, painful DPS. I can't get, I can't, I can't let it tilt me, but oh my god, that sucks. 
My six hour Ganon fight might go longer than that. Ah. Use something else. Holy crap, I'm right beside you. Thank you. I can't believe I've committed to this. 2018 David, you better be fucking proud. 2018 David is actually giggling to himself because he made his future self do this awful challenge. Gotcha. That's a feels good, man. We got a Ganon hop. That's the third Ganon hop of the day. Don't go back up. When he double guns, he usually goes back up without even giving me a chance to do a single feckin' hit point of damage. <laughs> Not the double gun butt stomp combo. That's the worst cycle. It happens like a third of the time, it feels like. To do an awful challenge would be so awful. I know. I was quite hesitant to do Ganon, actually. Like somebody said, no balls. I don't remember why I officially decided to do Ganon. I really hope there's not a squeaky hammer in Tears of the Kingdom. <laughs> Watch Kilton's entire shop is back. Get him, squeaky hammer! Yeah, squeak all over him. My favorite part was when the squeaky hammer squeaked all over Wasp again. And We're like a third through redacted. Pretty insane, chat. Six hours, Brandon, <laughs> for six hours. Give me a pixel. Give me a pixel. No. <laughs> we must be like one hit from pixel time, chat. I got six hammers left. I think that's enough. We got another. The squeaky hammer knocked him up again. Vod creators, please timestamp every pixel. Holy shit, you could. <laughs> that's so awful. But like, there's enough time between them that she, we probably could timestamp every pixel. That's another pixel. And he's still not dead. Holy crap. <laughs> When's the last pixel? When's it gonna be the last one? I keep thinking this has gotta be the last one. And then it's not. No, trust me, I've had enough content. I don't need to throw. That's another pixel and he's still not dead. We're actually going to the last pixel with this asshole. Oh, he bounced! <laughs> I thought he was dead. <laughs> Why can't I get the flurry rush with the sweep attack? Ah! Oh. Four years since I wanted to do this, and just short of seven hours in, I finally won. Yes! Oh my god. Holy shit. Yes! Chat! 4,000 hits! <laughs> oh my god! Finally! Uh, imagine blowing up like that to a squeaky hammer. Massive L. Obviously, I still needed to do the light thing, and that requires a bow. I did manage to get a couple of the spots with the hammer through Urbosa's fury, though. That was cool. The hammer would have killed Gary yeah. by now. Holy shit, we are killing 
Beast Gallon with the hammer. Oh! Good job, hammer. Well, I'm glad I finally got to do that. More importantly, I think the squeaky hammer proved that it isn't actually the worst weapon. I mean, it's knockback worked on Ganon, the final boss. Just kidding, the hammer fucking sucks.